Hi, this is Dr. Hassani Al Kafaji. Today I like to explain how to prepare class 4 composite restoration for anterior teeth. This procedure includes many challenges to follow the NDEB exam criteria since we need to have finish line with minimal excess composite filling over the tooth structure and at the same time we need to avoid any voids or spacing or deficiency at the TFO surface line angle. Also, we need to have proper tooth anatomy. So we get proper criteria for the contour and at the same time, we have shiny, smooth surface. The procedure includes four steps. Step number one, it includes building the lingual side directly by freehand, which is include building of just one millimeter away from the finishing line. By this way, we avoid the excess of the material. After curing the first one millimeter of increment at the cable surface line angle parietally, we start to build the composite at the contact area. This also will be freehand, and the composite will be attached to the adjacent tooth without any separation. By this way, you will get proper contact with the adjacent tooth. Third step, we build the proximal surface and lingual surface with the aid of the Midas thread. Last step, we build the incisal edge and labial surface, which will be direct access to these two areas. So when we follow this, these four steps, we can get finally proper anatomy shiny surface with no over excess and now i will explain on diagram how to do these four steps here we can see two central incisors with the cavity preparation class 4 usually supra gingival and open with the adjacent tooth here you can see the straight finishing line which represents the cable surface line angle and the other side we have the palatal view for central incisor for the same cavity. As we said before, when we start to do build up, we start build about one millimeter palatally away from the cable surface line angle. Just one millimeter, not more. Why? To be sure there will be no excess material over the tooth structure. This is the first stage. After that, we start to build the contact area by applying composite exactly where we need to have a proper contact area. And this composite mass should be in contact with the adjacent tooth. No separation, no isolation media, just keep in touch with the adjacent tooth. And at the same time, already we did build up for the palatal side of the tooth. This is the second stage where we build the contact area. Now we apply mylar strip between these two teeth. In order to cre create space for mylar strip to pass between these two teeth, we need to insert wedge, wooden wedge between these two teeth. So the wedge will separate the contact and you will get the space, proper space to insert the mylar strip. Then we place the wedge in a direction that the base toward the gingiva and the tip of the wedge toward the contact area. And usually the wedge should be toward the tooth surface away from the cavity. If they, you keep the wedge toward the cavity, you will get like small concavity in the last final restoration. Then we apply composite and we pull the strip palatally, palatally 
in gingival direction while we pull the strip incisally in the labial direction by this way we already established two points for buildup of the proximal side which represent the cable surface tying angle at the gingival area and the contact point which already built then we cure the composite next video we will see the practical part how to apply this procedure in a proper way this will be live demo for class 4 buildup for ndeb exam preparation